Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys another one of my workouts that I absolutely freaking love. It includes abs and legs. You can do this all together or you can do just abs or you can do just legs, whatever you like. I personally like doing abs and legs in the same day sometimes. Let's go. I personally like doing one minute planks for a total of three sets. So you just have to hold your torso as evenly and as parallel to the ground as possible. I love doing Russian twists, not just because I'm Russian and the name has Russian in it. Russian twists are great for your abdominals. So make sure to squeeze really hard on each side and I used a ball this time you can use a weight or whatever is the most comfortable for you keep the ball or whatever it is that you're holding a little bit above the ground and have your chest open and out make sure you're not scrunching in because that's bad form mountain climbers now this is the one where I feel incredibly silly doing but it does engage your core so that is what we want again I encourage like if it feels awkward if you don't like it just make sure you have a fairly enjoyable workout. Keep your core engaged and run in place with the same form as a traditional plank. So you want to make sure that your butt is a little bit out and make sure that your legs are even. Your other leg isn't moving while the other one is moving. So it has to be all very calculated. All right, getting into the ass. Let's do some barbell squats. Now, it is so important to keep proper form. So lift lightly if you don't have the form down. And even if you do have a good form, I would even be preferenced in having lighter weights and more sets and reps because it's more cardio based and if you're looking to lose weight, which is ultimately my goal, I would stick to that anyway. So squat press. Um, so this is great. This is so much better than a leg press. It's deeper and the squat press not only targets the legs, that that's what the leg press does, but it also activates the glutes. So it does feel like you're squatting, but you're sitting down while doing it. Now, obviously it's not as free form as your traditional squat, but if you want to mix it up a little bit, it does target the, the glutes, it does target the quads, it does target the hamstrings. So definitely if you have a choice between leg press, squat press, squat press, all the way. Don't be afraid of the machine. It does look scary, but once you get it down pat, it is literally so much freer. I find that the leg press is really constrictive. Like I can't, you know, go deep. Whereas the squat press makes you go deep. And the deeper you go, your glutes activate so much better. I have branded this as the Gymshark hip thrust because I only found it on, you know, Nikki Blackheader, Whitney Simmons, and Robin Glant. I think they have really traditionalized this type of hip thrust. It actually helps with your form so much and I can even go as far as to say that I might even like it better than your traditional hip thrust. I think that it assists with a higher and more weighted thrust. It helps, it regulates your form and makes you do a heavier sort of lift so definitely recommend the Gymshark hip thrust all right guys that was my workout I hope you enjoyed it I hope you try it next time you're at the gym bye